Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec, and today I'm going to do my June 2020 layout share for the Stash Busting YouTube collaboration, How to Kill a Kit with Style. I'll put links to all the other participants below. This month I started with leftovers from three past crepe paper collections. Basically I removed anything I really didn't like and then I beefed it up with some other stuff, mostly with past Vicki Booten embellishment collections. Anyway, I'll put a link to the kit building video below in case you're interested and I will link up any layout process videos associated with these layouts. And finally, I did have to cover up some of the photos. So here are the first two of 12 layouts. Pretty basic here. I use the paper, the letters, some of the embellishments, but what stands out most to me are those fussy cut houses, which were cut from one of the pieces of paper. And I don't like fussy cutting, but I really like how they look on that page and houses happen to be really easy to fussy cut. Here are two more layouts. I like them more in person than what I'm seeing on the screen, I must say. Anyway, these ones are really layered up. So I used a lot of the paper, the letters, and a lot of the ephemera pieces as well. The page on the left, there is a layout process video for that page design, not the page itself. So I will link that up in the information box below. And now I'm about to show you a single page layout, which I rarely do, but they do go either at the beginning of an album for me or at the end. Now that one there, there is a layout process video for the page design, not the page itself. I did it for Punched Out Thursday. So the decorations are made with punches and not the embellishments that were in the kit. I did use the stamps here. I wanted to use those letters, but I ended up only using the numbers. Anyway, like I said, I'll put a link to that video below, but I did use obviously all the paper from the kit. It was a really fun page to make actually. Now here are two more pages. Actually, they should go in the reverse order and I will switch them up in a minute. This is a really good example of how Vicki Booten embellishments work really, really well with crepe paper. I was really happy with this. These are probably among my two favorite layouts of the month, except for the one I just showed you with the birthday hat. Anyway, the page on the left, I can say that is one of my classic page designs that I use when I want to pair a layout with a single photo layout. What I mean by that is the page on the right, there's only one photo there. So the page I put with it usually has many photos and that's a page design I frequently use. These two pages, I did this page design for a YouTube video. It was for Stretch the Sketch. So I'll link up that video below in case you're interested. These pages are okay. I certainly will keep them. However, I have to say they're probably my least favorite of the month. And I think that's because these two papers that I use, the hearts as well as that aqua color there, I just wasn't excited about it. What can I say? But they're fine. All I used there was the paper, two little embellishments from the kit, and everything else I either punched out or die cut. Here are two more pages. Actually, I really like these. I did have to cover up the photos in them. And these two layouts here, I did do a layout process video for the page design, not the page itself. So I'll link that up below. That one there was for, for the love of crafting and sharing. Also on this one, I used that stamp and die set to embellish my page, which is really fun because I've had it for a few years and I've never used it. It's that mason jar, which I did in vellum. And then I stamped and, and uh, die cut those leaves at that little fish. Anyway, I really liked using that. I'm pointing out those words as well. That was a piece of paper that I put in my kit. So I had fun using that as well. Actually, I really do like those two layouts. This is the last one. There is a layout process video for this page. To be perfectly honest, I figured my kit was killed but I hadn't used those letter stamps, which I still hadn't. And I also hadn't used those puffy frames. So I challenged myself to put together a page with the scraps. Anyway, I will link up that process video below. Here's what I have left. So that's a bag of scraps that's going in the recycling bin. 
Now I'm showing you the tray of what I have left. So I have a bunch of ephemera still left over from Vicki Booten. I did use a fair amount, but I have this left. And when I put these kits together, I always put more than I plan on using. I try not to put too much because other, that way I'm overwhelmed. Anyway, that will go back in my Vicki Booten stash. I really love her material, so I'll use it in the future. I'm looking there in the tray. I have those star charms. I will keep those. Those are from crepe paper, but I ended up not using them. And those puffy frames, I told myself at the beginning of the month if I used one or two, I'd be happy. I used three, so I'm super happy. I also figured I'd be donating them, but I'm actually going to keep them. So that's kind of a win for me. Those bows are from Stampin' Up. I did use them on one or two of these pages, and I actually used them on another layout this month. Those black letters I definitely used. I actually had to dig into another pack. Those script letters, I tried to use them. They just didn't work out, and I'm going to donate them. I have decided I don't like script letter stickers, so that's just it just didn't work for me. I don't consider it a fail. I consider it a discovery. It doesn't work for me. Here are the two tools I used. Like I said, those mason jars, I used them. I was really happy to have used them. This one, I'm a bit disappointed. I really wanted to use those letters and I ended up not using them. I did use the numbers. I plan to put those back in my kit. I'm going to skip a month, but I'm going to use them in August. And in August, I better use them. That's my goal. Anyway, those are the pages I made in June 2020. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find it inspiring. Don't forget to check out the other participants. They're listed below. I'm sure they made some amazing pages this month. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.